So when you're young and growing up with a, an invisible disability like ADHD, autistic spectrum, disorder issues, other learning disabilities, you know, and, and things like that in that form, you wind up having <clears throat> parents who can be overprotective. And, you know, you kind of want to show that you can take care of yourself because, you know, you understand that, you know, you're not going to have your parents around you all the time. They can't do things for you all the time. And you want to show them that, you know, you can take care of yourself. And sometimes you realize that these things that you're trying to help me with really aren't helpful, really aren't very helpful anyways. And, you know, you don't always go along with, with their plan. And, and now you're, you're ungrateful and unappreciative. But then if you say, you know, I'm struggling, beca I'm struggling because of my ADHD or artistic, artistic issues, learning disabilities or so forth, now you're just making excuses. You know, it's a tough thing dealing with this. Um, <clears throat> it's more of an event video than anything else. You know, I'm sure we've all, all been there. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to do your best. You know, you understand that, you know, this isn't very helpful and, you know, please stop. Let me show you I can take care of myself. No, you're just ungrateful. We don't love you. Then you're like, I need help. You know, my disability makes things hard for me, makes things, makes things difficult for, for me. Now, now I'm making excuses. You know, so make up your mind. Which is it? Do I need help or am I, make, or am I making excuses? Because it, it does matter. It really does. Because if you want to help me, treat me like an actual person, not, not my disabilities. You know, if you want to help me, be an ally, don't be an adversary. And again, again, this is a rant. I'm going to end it here. Thank you for, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll talk with you in the next video.